God's word, faithfully preached, is his comprehensive equipment for changing lives, delivering them from the shackles of sin, the flesh, and the world, and transforming them into useful vessels through whom Jesus can pour out his blessings. Living Seed invites you to a feast of the truth as God's servant brings to us the word of life. Biblical fathering is not to make you an object of fear. It's not to make you a terror. Rather, your presence must evoke. I want you to see what your presence must evoke. What is it? Admiration. Confidence. And assurance in the hearts of the children and even of your wife. As a man, what will conquer your children is not your terrorizing them. If your children find a reason to admire you, if there's something you are doing well that your child would like to be like, that already conquers him. Hallelujah. If your child finds something that he, he gives him, you know, an internal joy and he says, God, I love my dad. When children are meeting in their own small class, you know they talk. Do you know that your children normally talk? Eh? They talk old and they have their own way of talking. I say, Kai, I don't like my father. He say, Why? He will just come to the house. Then he comes and says, Everybody going, 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 everybody going. Uh, don't like that. <laughs> don't like that. He's talking. He doesn't admire that. But if you look for something that your baby can admire, you will begin to affect him very, very positively. Hallelujah. You must be an object of administration, an object of confidence, that which evokes assurance, that gives them joy and say, yes, my dad is there. My dad is there. My dad can handle it. My dad knows what to do. My dad is, is, is capable. May the Lord make us fathers in the name of Jesus Christ. They should simply know with deep assurance that our father is at home and that he is equal to every task that may arise in our lives in the house. To allow for effective fathering, the father must make room for the frames of the children. He must understand the difference in frames of children at different stages of their lives. As infants, children are playful and they cannot concentrate on any matter for too long. Their attention span only grows as they grow in years. The task that will engage their attention must be what? Must be exciting and adventurous. Fathers, don't force your child who is between age and age zero and age seven and say, sit down there, sit down. We are doing Bible study. Sit down. And you are reading King James. <laughs> Thou sendest rain to the wicked, and you did not withdraw thy hand from the righteous. Blessed be the name, O Almighty God. Your baby is playing with uh, something like this. What are you doing there? We are doing Bible study, you are playing with balloon. 
What are you talking about? Sit down there. <laughs> you see? No. That will not solve the problem. Your child has no capacity to concentrate on such kind of issues. A one hour Bible study, serious Bible study, you are wasting your time. So while you are busy, and sometimes you know some of you when you are praying, your wife, your 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 your, your baby, your son, open his eyes. Say, what what is wrong with my father? <laughs> what, is, what is my father doing now? Why is he shaking his head like this? Like this? what is, oh God, what is it? So when after you have amused him for a little while, then he will find something he is doing. And while he's doing something, he says, You are not praying, you are not praying. Ah, you want to be the devil in this house? Oh, yeah, I need and pray now. Say to God, say, God, God, I'm sorry that I'm not praying. I am too playful. Deliver me from playfulness. No, you are making a mistake. Don't make your child to confess a sin that he does not know. When it will be time for him to be convicted, he will not know what to be convicted about. We need to recognize the frame of our children. There is a stage when only 15 minutes is the time they can give you. Hallelujah. Collect that 15 minutes and use it very well. After that, give them space to do what they like to do. When they recognize that you are dealing with them with passion, they will never be rebellious. They will grow well. They will become the children you are praying for them to be. Hallelujah. When they become teenagers, I'm dealing with these different frames because in fathering, all children are not the same. Hallelujah. All children are not at the same level and they don't take the same level of approach for us to raise them. When they become teenagers, are you hearing me? He must become a friend. I want to quickly say, what you made your child to do as a toddler, they sit down there, he sat down there. It's time to pray. He came to pray. Uh, we are reading Bible, he reads Bible as a toddler. That's good. When he gets to the age of choice, the teenage, the first thing that child will do is to query everything that you have made him to do as a toddler. He will query it. He said, that why must we even pray every morning? You say, eh? <laughs> you are backsliding. No. It's not backsliding, no. He has only come to an age where he must, is becoming aware of his environment and he needs to be able to understand why do I do what I do. 